getting out some weeds and stuff sitting my butt over here where the corn is guys i'm actually moving them around this is what i'm doing so i'm going to transplant some of them because they're next to each other so what i'm going to do is transplant to the most thing and then I have to move the um I'm dirty guys I have to move the uh spinach around it's all in the little patch right there so I that's what I'm doing making room moving this corn over we do have some corn growing we have some big old zucchini right there growing guys that's a big one so that's what I'm doing here it's a sad compound guys having fun getting dirty Right, like hands in the dirt, guys. <laughs> I've been watching hands in the dirt. Y'all go check them out. But yes, that's what I'm doing here. So I'm making room for my spinach. It did come out over there, and I'm gonna put them on this line right here. Let me turn this camera around if I can. Okay, okay. where well, this right here, that's some of them right there, and some in the little patch right there. I'm just gonna move them where I'm sitting, my little butt here. And put them all right here and i move the corn around like i said we do have some zucchini coming a lot of little popped out and my uh carrots actually grew over there too so y'all can see this i don't know if y'all can see it but i'll show you later so what i'm doing is getting all the weeds out and like i said see two corns by each other I'm moving one over i didn't know you can uh actually move them over transplant them or whatever i've always thought it was direct plant but you can do that. So I looked at it and I actually watched the video on another in the black farmers and she said that's what she do. She actually put them in a she put them in a little tray and then put them out later. I didn't know you could do that. So I'm still learning. So that's what I'm doing now. Getting ready to move my spinach over here and move the corn, the ones that's next to each other. I have done some already. This one, these two, that two, those up there. And now I'm getting ready to take care of these here because they're next to each other, too close. And that one, those, that one over there, they're just too close. So we just want to try and see what will work. And that's why I use this here um, pot here, just to see how it'll work. Everything else seems to be growing in it. Let's just try me some corn. At least I know the cows won't get this close to eat them up. I do have some growing in the plot over there that I put plant over there. And then like maybe four stalks come out. So let's see how it do. My squash didn't come out as well yet. At least I didn't see anything pop out yet. Maybe it's too early, but we're going to go for it again. We got the ladies here. We got four ladies here. A new guy just wanted to come in. And another lady, she's new and she wanted to work for us too. I think we told her to come back after ramadan but i think rick had told her to come back in june you know that's probably better for us at least we know where we're sitting standing and you know we'll be out here next month anyway so we know so right now that's what we got going on it is a monday after their the uh corte is over for them i believe they did show up working so mr padada here we got four of the five ladies here I didn't see the young other guys here yet, but we do have the new guy. He came in. So that's where we at. And I will see you later. Oh my gosh, is that a pretty red bird over there by Rick? Let me look over there and pull it in. Let's see, because if I walk over there, he's going to run. Let's see. Y'all see that red bird over there in the tree? Is that a bird? Rick, is that a bird behind you? Or is that the is that a flower? What is that, a flower? In the tree, right there by the bancho bar. It's red. What's that? Flower? Yeah. Oh, false, 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 false. Huh? I think it's on all Oh, okay. It's beautiful, whatever it is. It is. That's why I Okay, it's a flower, guys. I thought it was a pretty bird, like a parakeet or something. Rick says it's a flower. So, okay, then let me get back to work, guys. I done moved most of my corn, so let me keep moving. Oh, I got three. One, two, three to go. Okay. Hopefully, we have some corn real soon, guys. Let me get on with what I was doing. 
and I'll come back and show you how I replanted the replanted the um, spinach. They're gonna be over here in this lane right here. Let's see. Y'all wish me luck. I will be back. Okay, family, I'm back. I just got a little more spinach to take up and move around. I did move some of them around here, so let it go here. They were all bunched up together because that's the way I had pre-planted them. And now I've got to move. I even moved the corn around. The zucchini. It's okay. I just got to get the other side of here, which is the where the other weeds and the other zucchini. That's the biggest zucchini we got right there, guys. And I said my carrots was coming in. There are that they're right here. All over here. Y'all see the little flowers looking things? These are carrots. And those are carrots. They're all in here. Spread it out. But I think I put them a little bit too close. But it's okay, I guess. So far, we're looking well. Swell, swell, swell. I move the spinach over. Let's see how they do. They, they tend to get a little bigger now. I hope. With all the watering, I think it will. I had some on the... the uh, my uh, veranda at the house so they did James well did, yeah he did water when he uh he came out here but he said he was at a sore throat what you doing Not just looking at the, the queen. all right king so that's what i'm doing here so i'm gonna finish up now right there with all that bending who this is back pain back breaking here <laughs> this the hut but uh, I could do it. I don't have no problem with it. I could do it. I'm just, hopefully these spinach come out. Well, ain't no hopefully they are going to come out. So they looking good. So that's the last ones right here. I'm going to move around, break them up and move them around right in this area right here. So I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys. Juma said we got a watermelon growing in the patch i guess it's coming from the manure but there is a watermelon there there's a lot of them growing in here it used to be the okra that now is watermelons growing out over here guys so she wanted me to look at it and i did thank you <laughs> we got watermelon growing let raheem them don't see it so they'll eat it we got tomatoes over here, these are the Roman tomatoes. Ooh, my hands are dirty from all of that. Yeah, this is what's over there. We still have our peppers still coming in, too. We had a last week a little harvest and a lot more than grew back. And they have these okra still standing here with, for the seeds, she said. We would get the seeds and dry them out and use them for the next ones. We got more peppers growing bell peppers or sweet peppers Ooh, this is a biggie here him waiting on me to take him home hi there puppy yeah that's a big one i won't mess with you i'll let you continue to grow but everything is looking swell more over here and more peppers guys oh my back we had some more i guess it will all that bending today we had some more um, kales come out of the nursery. They replanted them. I think they need to get my sweet potatoes are still coming along, guys. Look at them. They're doing well over here. May have to put them in another big old bucket. These are more peppers here growing. Let me see. They have plenty of uh, kale, so they threw them in the thing here. Okay, we got some here, over there. And we'll put it here. Let's see how they do. I believe it's some of these here. Ooh, I gotta take some of these home. And we'll put some over here. And I believe he's gonna put some. Ooh, I gotta rinse my hands before it's so dirty. In my nails. Yeah, Mr. Potter is sweating over here so they can put more 
over here. These uh, lemongrass just really taking off. I think these are lemongrass. Yeah, they're going to put more here. That's why they're rolling them now. That's why they're getting this poop ready because they got some kales that they're taking out of the uh, nursery. Just exploded over there and they need to be transplanted, they say. So that's what they're getting ready to do now. So I'm going to go over here. We got more. Look at these sweet potatoes, God. They're just all over the ground. So I don't think I want them like that. They grow so wild and I don't want nothing. Guess I'm going to have to take these leaves up because they're going into the ground here with a, uh, look at that. They're walking with a uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass. Let's just hope we get some potatoes, guys. I saw a big one in one of the buckets. So we still got some eggplants coming along as well. We're doing well. What the heck? Did I hit that? I do apologize, guys. Rick thinks that one on the end down here is going to plop out first. So, like I said before, we're going to get that collar loop from that other pineapple stock there because it's in its way. And hopefully soon, I'm thinking maybe after this rainy season, we should have a pineapple coming up because these been down for a while. Let me see if anything coming out. Mm -hmm. They normally get this big before something comes out. So we shall see, guys. I believe after rainy season, we should have a lot of passion fruit coming out as well, too. They have grown. The on the what? What is that? A vulture? Yep. It just come to steal our water, guys. You see that big old thing there? Every day we get them. Want water. I guess the bird need water, too, huh? It's okay. Drink up, baby. Go ahead. Just you don't be coming back. Rabbits and snakes. That's what I'm saying, but don't be coming back for my chickens when they come out here. You saw this girl? Bumper tree? Yeah. Yeah. You got the leaves on them. A medicine tree, medicine, whatever this is, vine. Got flowers growing on them now. They say it's something like a mint, so. Oh, but it's walking in. I ain't never seen it walk in the grass, look. I know. It's moving out. Probably going to be. down in the grass now. Going to be all over the place. I'm talking about the vulture. Oh, he in there? He hid down in the grass now. He's probably looking for something to eat then. Maybe he see a snake. He can get it for me. Okay, guys, I'm almost finished with here. I'm just getting more weeds out. I took a little break. She called me to... There's two watermelons growing over there. <laughs> All right. And she called me to come over, come over there and look at the watermelon. So I did. I did replant it and positioned it... Uh, finish all of them around this way so I did take care of that now I'm gonna do this side here break up the little dirt and get some weeds out hopefully everything survived because I did move a little bit and uh my corn keep coming I need some corn now you can't be dying on me corn I need this here sweet corn <laughs> but anyway guys I'll be back let me go and take my little break See you soon. They handle that water. Cashews, cashews and mangoes. Cashews and mangoes. Behind the uh, security house. Yeah. I kind of got a big space between them where I can ride a tractor in between there. You're so dirty. I'm working, sweet mama, trying to get everything set up for you and stuff. I appreciate it. Trying to give them a good look. You're not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going to get you. I know, but my fingernails are all dirty today. I had to get up all these weeds and stuff. <sighs> Tomorrow's more weeds. That's the only thing that I don't find so much pleasure in in farming is de-weeding. Getting the weeds out of the ground crops as well as the fruit trees. That's part of the job. And lastly, Sweet Juicy Mama. What? What about Sweet Juicy Mama? Getting the weeds off of you. Uh, whatever. What's that? <laughs> Ooh, mm. Messing with the weeds is part of the job. That's but that's one thing I don't like either. As the well. weeds. The weeds. I don't yeah. think anybody like weeds, but everyone is just a miracle 
something, just pour something down and go. I think you can just pour vinegar and water or salt mm -hmm. or something. But, one but thing, you don't want to hurt the plant. That's true. But one thing I do know for sure, though, once you pull them weeds off, they, they don't come back. Not right back. Not right back. It'd be a different group of weeds until you can just kill them all. But, you know, I don't think anybody like weeding. Why are you trying to look sexy over there? Because uh, you sexy, sweet, juicy mom. With them regular shoes. Hey, these are working shoes. Look at your regular shoes. I know mine's regular, but, mm -hmm. you know. Even those sweatpants got a hole back there. I'm making money. That is future money. That is true, sweet mama. <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. Um, but we out here working it, guys. We mm -hmm. doing what we got to do to get going for the future. Yeah. So we can check this off the list and work on something else. Yes, I just hope this mic working today. I thought I, you said it was going up and off already. Uh, it was when I was in there. So I might have to do a voiceover. We'll see. Oh, vo oh go on with your bad self, sweet mama. You becoming high tech now doing voiceovers. I'm learning from you. I ain't never did a voiceover. Not that I, not to my recollection. Not to your recollection. Not to my recollection. Stop using junior words. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying, sweet mama. Hey, guys, we got a new uh, uh, work associate today. I don't know if sweet juice mama let y'all know. His name is Alasana. What? Close it, enough, sweet did mama. Did I say it right? Yeah, last name is easier to pronounce, Kamara. Oh. But anyway, we got a new uh, work associate today, and this is the caliber that I like. He's 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 a older guy. He has a family, so hopefully, you know, that entails you know more responsibility as far as showing up to work and 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 and, and following the instructions that are put out and stuff. So we like those, you know, versus the. The, the the kids that are come in and get a paycheck and then quit on you and stuff. You know, tell them about the new. Uh... We had a new female that uh, came out here today also, but there's a there's a a, a waiting list. Uh, what's his name? Pardada. Yes. Has uh, located the next lady that's going to work out here at Bag. And then this other lady, we told her to come back the following month. So we'd like right. to get it up to about, how many women we got so far now? Two, the no one that's gonna come, no, only five. We, we got five now? Yes. Okay, well, after we finish hiring and, and have kicked back up to a notch, we'd like to have maybe 10 women and maybe 10 men on the payroll, on the, uh, on the payroll. So we'll see how that turns out because I share a lot of goals with you guys, but uh, once it happens, we just check it off the list and move on down the road. You want to tell them about your, your little magazine you was in? Oh, yeah, Sweet Juicy Mama. Uh, I think it's the TRT of Africa or something like that. I, I, I know it's coming out of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, someone had contacted us and said that um, they wanted to interview us for a particular magazine or book. I think it's a magazine. It's a magazine, but the guy's coming out of Nigeria. And... Uh, Sweet Juicy Mama will give me the link, uh, and I'll put that in the description in case y'all want to go and see it. And, and we're having a lot of people that call and come on now, cut, cut, come on now. Anyway, we're having a lot of people that are calling and wanting to do a dissertation on us now. Uh, we apologize, but uh, not right now. Please stay in touch with us. You know, maybe sometime in the future, but not right now. Right. We the interview, just want to get out interview is fine, but a dissertation, I mean, you know, we we declining right now. What's up, sweet mama? It's for her dissertation. Yeah, but she ain't the first one. I know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's many, many, many. Yeah, many, many. Everybody want to know what's going on with sweet, juicy mama. Everything's going great with sweet, juicy mama. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Y'all know what's in his mind right now. Whatever. Anyway, so it really looked nice out here today. I didn't think all the workers was going to show us, so. We had three that didn't show today. Yes. One, one of our uh, women work associates didn't show up. And, the two, and two of the young young men didn't show up. Yes. Mm -hmm. but I mean, it's what, a up. day after the court case, so I understand. Right. They will be here tomorrow, so we shall see. Yep. And we're going to 
move on down the highway, down the yellow brick road, getting ourselves out here next month. Mm -hmm. So we got lots going on. We couldn't, we were supposed to have a birthday party on a boat. Sorry, Miss Janice, that we didn't make it, but we had to be here today to take care of some things. Nothing major, but uh, the guy who was working on our doors had a little problem, so we had to come out. What is wrong with this stupid dog? He's, he's new. Oh, that's why she barking at him. Cut. Come on up here, cut and sit down. <laughs> but we didn't, you know, we didn't go to the, we didn't go to the birthday party on the boat. But we will catch the next one, guys. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, very soon. All we want to do now is position ourselves out here. Yes. Where we can be out here and don't have to do all this traveling back and forth. Did you catch me digging in my nose? I was digging in my nose. I hope I wasn't on uh, camera. I don't think I saw that. Okay, good. I news. don't want to see that either. All right, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, like I said, we shall be out here less than a month. We got... And we have a lot of packing to do. Well, not really packing because we really never have unpacked since we moved to the Gambia. Right. It's more of just packing it into a vehicle and getting it out here. Mm -hmm. Most of it is in, in them trailers out there. Mm -hmm. Got that right, sweet boy. So once we get out here, I think everything should change for us a lot. And for the better. We're going to just introduce you guys to a lot. Of everything that we got we're gonna have going going on with the bag family or should I say the garden mm -hmm. not the personal both. bag family Mama, both. yes but anyway guys let's see you on the next one let's just hope this video do well for me and I will see you on the next video guys all right check out our patreon for exclusive content guys you heard what he said Ooh, that I just Yeah, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And hit the bell notification so you'll know when we're uploading the next video. Basically, we upload every day unless things happen beyond our control. But other than that, we uh, upload videos on a daily basis. But a lot of people have been telling us they've been unsubscribed or they, they, don't, they haven't... Um, Receive notification. Mm -hmm. Receive notification that we put up a video. So make sure you guys check and verify that you are still connected and stuff. All right, guys. See you next video. Bye, bag family. It's getting, it's so